Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 37, and this is war number four, and we're going up against an alliance called Alliance de El Ipi Divine. Probably mangled that. Uh, let's see who they've banned. Hercules, Magneto, and Corvus. Okay. And of course, my Spider-Man is globally banned. And Torch is whitelisted. Let's take a look and see what we got on our path. I take path three. All right. So we've got Colossus. And we've got Emma. Namor should be able to handle that. And I don't mess with that middle. Ugh. And then we've got... I hate fighting him. Hmm. I really do hate fighting him. We'll see. Um, let's see. We'll do... Hmm. Yeah, we can do... Nebula on that Omega Sentinel. And we could do that on that uh, Nimrod, too. Okay. Hmm. I'm thinking here. He's not bleed immune, right? Because if he's not bleed immune, yeah, poison is the only thing he's immune to. I might bring in um, Nick Fury. I may take him on with Nick Fury. Ah, but then, well, yeah, I guess I could do. Um, Hmm. Nebula, I guess, can do those too. So yeah, I might bring in Nick Fury instead of Claire. Namor, Nick Fury, Nebula. Yeah, that might be the, the way to go. All right, let's get on with the fighting. All right, going in with Nick Fury, with uh, Nebula, and with Namor. And honestly, I'm hoping that I can pull Gallon when I go for him in the featured crystals because he would do very well on this path. You know, Namor does great, and I may still use him, but Gallon, I think, might do even better. All right, so I'm boosting up like I usually do. And our first fight is going to be against Colossus. And I don't anticipate any issues against Colossus here. You know, I don't have any way with Namor to remove his armor ups, but that's fine because I don't want to. Uh, my damage will not care how many armor ups he has. So as you can see here, just look at it. Look, look at his health bar. Do you see how his health bar is jerk, jerk, jerking? It's because even though he's bleed immune, he's taking all the damage that I would normally be taking as bursts. And that's why you see his health doing what it was doing there. So I just wanted to bait this out just in case. And now we can just go in. Now, I could have taken him out before, but I didn't want to push him to a special three by accident. You never know what's going to happen. But he went down just as easy as I thought he was going to. All right, so next fight. Now, this fight, this fight can be annoying. So, uh, Emma Frost, when she is awakened, will reverse your controls on her specials. And I know how to deal with that. I've fought her now for quite a while. But she still catches me. You know, that AI is just really annoying. All right, so first thing that I was noticing here, you know, we were doing some good damage. But when she had that, um, see, there you go. She caught me there. When she had her uh, diamond form, I, I wasn't doing very good uh, damage at all. See, like right here, 
you don't see it chewing down like it was with Colossus. All right, but now I was trying to time my attacks for when she's not in diamond form. All right, because that her diamond form makes her really tanky. But as you can see, we're not having too much problem. Um, I don't think I've fought her uh, on this path. I don't remember anyway. All right, so see, she's not in diamond form. So, boom. Quick and easy. But she could be difficult. Now, what's funny is that it's actually a bit more difficult fighting her, for me personally, when she's not awakened because I'm so used to her being awakened. All right, so we got uh, the middle here, not bothering it. Uh, I went to bed, I think I went to bed, uh, came back, they cleared it out, full uh, energy here. And so on we go to the next, uh, the next section. Now, when I wake up and I see this, that nobody has touched him, I know that they're probably hoping I will. Now, I don't like this node. And going forward, our alliance uh, mate that is uh, sharing that side with me, I don't think he had come in yet. Um, or he might not have started using uh, the champ that he uses. Um, but he's been doing very well on this node. He's gotten solos against Omega Sentinel when she's on this node. Um, he's gotten other solos. Sometimes, you know, you mess up, but he seems to be doing very well for this. Now, I brought in my boy Nick Fury, all right? I just want them bleeds to do their work. Just look at the bleeds. And I'm not even in my, uh, you know, the real Nick Fury is not out. I'm still the life model decoy here, all right? So... And then, of course, he's unblockable, and he's just whooping on me. I'm like, what? Come, get, get away from me. Stay away. Oh, no, I'm in the corner. Get away. Get away. Get away. All right. Back up. Back up. Oh, he's catching me again. So happy it's Nick Fury. Look at this. Just trying to kill me all kind of different ways. Get on out of here. See, his mistake was making the real Nick Fury come out. And that was it for him. Over with. But I sure I got my butt whooped. Well, the life model decoy got his butt whooped. But that's why I like Nick Fury. All right, so this next one, we've got Omega Sentinel. And I've gotten much better at fighting her. You know, now that I know. And in a future war, this node, I got chewed up. But wait till we get there. It was ugly. I mean, it was really ugly. Um, but going in here with Nebula, pretty straightforward, you know, you know, I don't have to back her up if I don't want to, but I just don't like being in the corner, but really I just need to build up. I try to build up all the way to my 20 and sometimes she catches me there like that, but you see I'm healing because Nebula is that girl. So I, as you see, I'm in the corner. I can evade her uh, heavy. And then boom, 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 she's done. Once once I can get that shock on her, and if I fire off my special two, it is over with. She is done. So she caught me once, but we got her in the end. All right, so next up, we've got Cosmic Ghost Rock. And I can evade both of his specials. So I'm not scared of him. Although if I get caught with that special two, it's over. Lights out. All right. But anyway, so enhanced shock, which doesn't bother Nebula. In fact, she welcomes it. Bring it on. Do your best or worst. And I'm going to take him just like I did uh, Omega Sentinel. You know, Nick Fury has the real life and... He's bleed immune, so no need for that. And you see that he has poison on him, which means they placed with suicides. So we really don't want to get hit if we can help it. It'll hurt a lot. All right, so there we go. I got my 20, boom. Put the shock on him. And I only had a special one, which will power drain him and lock him for a little bit. And so we can just finish him off real quick. 
There we go. Done. So now if I had had a special two ready, that would have been it for him. He would have been over. All right. Now we've got the fight that is the reason that I actually took Nebula up in the first place. Didn't know how good she was at other fights as well. But this is the fight on this particular node against Nimrod. He was annoying. We've had some uh, some other folks try to get in there with different counters. And since I've taken Nebula up, I have not lost to Nimrod once on this node. Doesn't happen. Um, I solo him every single time. So now they basically uh, wait. If I have Nebula, which I will if I see Nimrod on that node, um, I'm the one that takes him. And we just tear him up. And see, I always get that because he hits me right when I look up to see how many charges I have. And then he hits me with a heavy attack. So annoying. Now look at this. All right, I wanna say something here. I want to bring your attention to something that I had done. So when I got to my special two, I noticed that Nimrod power locked me. So I can't flow. I can't do, you know, the parry, shot, special two. So I was staggering and slowing up my combo so that I'd be able to get a special two off even after the power lock when I had the um, uh, uh, the shock still on him. All right? So anyway, uh, we'll be back and you'll find out how we did in this war. And we're back, and unfortunately, we lost this war. We just died too much. Just died too much. Um, it was close. Um, a lot of those defender kills didn't count, but enough of them counted that, as you can see, they had 10 more attack bonuses than we did. Um, come to think of it, maybe they all did count. Hmm. I'm not sure how to calculate that. But anyway... We just died too much, all right? Uh, but that's gonna do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button. If you enjoyed it, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. Uh, shout out to Joker, Kwitzatz, and Nabidian, our MVPs for this war. Uh, take care, and you all have a blessed day. <laughs>